Hey everybody, happy hump day as we uh, round up here uh, June 27th. I just wanted to check the calendar and make sure that um, we were still in June and what the date was. And um, a common question we get as uh, coach and uh, nutrition counseling is alcohol. So um, my name is Coach John Smay. I'm uh, in uh, Collingwood, Ontario. I am a coach at CrossFit Mazamo here in Collingwood and a co-owner along with my uh, beautiful and talented and smart wife, Michelle. Um, and we get a lot of uh, questions, especially this time of year, regarding um, alcohol along with their nutrition. And so we're just going to run through uh, sort of a quick rundown on uh, what there is. Um, so guys, it, a lot of it seems like it should be common sense, but it really isn't. I'm gonna just start off with sort of a fan favorite. Uh, I've got here my mom's choice PBR, also known as a Pops Blue Ribbon. I almost went down with this. Um, and it is like a full, basically, uh, ale, and you're looking at probably somewhere around 13 grams of carbs, 150 calories. If you swapped this up with a Miller Lite, uh, then you're looking at probably half the carbs and probably 30 calories less. So um, going for a light beer is still going to be a better option. There is also an ultra beer, which is probably around 90 calories. And as well, probably um, you're looking at around just under two grams of carbs. So you can see that um, there are choices when it comes to uh, good, better, best, right? Anything that looks like this, I'm gonna tell you right out of the gate, is pretty much full of sugar. So this has um, basically a bunch of additives in it to create the flavor, uh, mixed with uh, an already sort of a heavily flavored sort of rum. This is a Malibu rum, but this has a grapefruit, fruit, citrus a sweetener added it to as well. So you're looking at a very high sugar content. It doesn't post on there. I'm guessing somewhere around 170 calories. Again, you're probably looking at around 10 to 15 grams of carbs. White wine, you're looking at around uh, four to five grams of carbs, 120 calories, 140 calories. Same thing with the red. They're not too far off from each other. Um, if you guys stay with darker alcohol, so when we're tar talking about dark rum, they have a product that it goes in that is an additive to the flavoring. Uh, congener, I believe is the way it's pronounced, congener. Anyways, uh, this will also increase the actual calorie and the carb count for those alcohols. As you start to pull away and get into what we call clearer liquids, vodka is definitely a preferable drink, but it all depends now what you mix it with. Uh, scotch on the rocks is also pretty cool on its own, but again, it's what you mix it with. Um, Going back to the uh, the wine, and red wine and white wine, believe it or not, uh, champagne, you're looking at about one gram of carb per serving and about 89 calories per glass as well. So actually out of between uh, red wine, white wine and champagne, um, champagne is probably still your best bet if you're looking to drink something a little bit lighter. Um, and then finally we come into um, my WCW for today, which is the Casamigos tequila. And um, you're looking at around 80, 90 calories per serving. Uh, super clean, um, probably the best alcohol you can mix or have. And um, if you're thinking of a great drink, this along with the vodka with club soda and fresh squeezed lime is probably your best bet. Um, I find with the tequila, I'm not drinking it fast, it's very summery, refreshing, uh, thirst quenching, and so um, it's, it's really easy to go down and um, I really never have, never have any problems with tequila this way. Now, um, one of the reasons why we have you guys on here is what about when we overindulge? What are we gonna do? Well, that's when I turn to this bad boy right here and we're looking at the, this particular product. And what it does is it increases hydraulic efficiency of the heart by 28%. In turn, it will uptake then 28% uh, more oxygen to the rest of your body. So when we talk about the best cure for a hangover, 
hands down, this is what I use. This is what all my peeps use. And um, it, it's awesome. Uh, I'm not gonna condone this, but you can always mix this in, obviously, with your alcohol. But I'm saying I don't condone that. But as a hangover cure, this is hands down the best thing. Better than an Advil, Tylenol, uh, guzzling water, whatever. It's just pure science. It's gonna increase the amount of oxygen to your brain and to the rest of your body uh, based on output, uh, creating a, a higher output of the hydraulic process of the heart. So anyways, guys, if you wanna get a couple of these, let me know, send me a PM um, and uh, reach out to me and I can tell you exactly what this is and we can go from there. I hope you guys are enjoying your summer. Please don't drink and drive. It's not worth it. Uh, grab a cab, grab an Uber, whatever you need to do. Uh, hand your keys over to somebody else. Um, there's, um, it's not worth it. Um, so anyways, guys, I hope that you uh, are enjoying your summer. Uh, at some point, we are gonna get a summer in Ontario. Still hasn't arrived as far as I'm concerned. It's uh, hot and humid tonight with a little bit of rain, but um, it's not even anywhere near the type of heat that I would prefer. Anyways, uh, have a great night, guys. Um, enjoy yourself, enjoy your summer. Thank you for your time.